let's take a look at solving formulas. When you want to solve a formula for a specific variable, you basically go through the same process as solving an equation. Now this usually involves shifting things around and say adding or subtracting things from both sides, uh, but the key to keep in mind is what variable you are looking for and how to isolate as much as possible. So in this first example, I have p equals 2l plus 2w, and what we're trying to do is solve it for the variable w. So again, my goal is to try and get w all by itself. To start this off, I'm going to subtract a 2L from both sides. All right, so I'll have P minus 2L is equal to 2W. All right, so this one's almost done. The last thing I want to do is get rid of this 2. Since the 2 is being multiplied by the W, I'll divide both sides by the number 2. There we go. So what I end up with is that w is equal to p minus 2l all divided by 2. And I know that this one is done because the w has been completely isolated. Now in some formulas, you may have to go through a little bit more work in order to isolate that variable. Here's another one that involves, say, the formula for the area of a trapezoid. So a equals 1 half times h multiplied by the quantity capital B plus lowercase b. What we're doing with this one is we're trying to solve it for this lowercase b. Well, this one is actually stuck inside a set of parentheses. So first we are going to use our distributive property to multiply by both these terms. So I'll get a equals 1 half h times capital B plus 1 half h times my lowercase b. So that gets me pretty far, and now we want to work to get this b all alone by shifting things to the other side. Let's go ahead and subtract a 1 half hb, 1 half hb. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Uh, to get rid of that 1 half, I think I'll multiply both sides by a 2. And then we're almost all the way done. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by an H. There we go. So now this one is completely solved for b, because b is now completely all alone. It's the only thing on one side of the equal sign. Now you could take this farther and, and simplify it even a little bit more if you want, like maybe cancel out a couple of h's. But the important part to recognize is when you have the variable you want completely isolated. There we go. Now you can really apply a lot of this information even to a lot of things that uh, don't quite look like formulas. Uh, you, you still might consider this a formula of some sort uh, just because it does have so many uh, variables and everything else floating around. So notice how this one takes on the same feel as solving an equation. We're basically going to try and get that x all by itself. When we're done, our solution will still have the variables a and c in it. Uh, but it will still be our solution since x will be all alone. Alright, so to get started with this one, I need to get my x's together. Before I can even get a hold of them, I'll have to distribute my negative sign and the 4 into parentheses. So this will give me a 5x minus 2 times a minus c. Here I have a 4x plus 4c. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now let's work to get our x's together, and I will subtract a 4x from both sides. So x minus 2a minus c equals 4c. 
All right. Now I guess I need to start moving things to the other side. So we'll add a 2a plus 2a, and we'll add a c. So x is equal to, looks like I have 2a, since there's no other a's to combine it with, and 5c, since the 4c and the 1c will combine. All right, and then this one is done, since x is all alone. And that's how you solve a formula.